All righty, so some super exciting news has come out of Amusement Today in an article about a Gert Slauer uh, coaster coming to the United States in hopefully May of 2022, um, and it's going to be formally announced within the next few months, um, and it's going to be a world record roller coaster. So some super exciting news just in that alone for any American or Canadian that travels. That alone is super exciting, just somewhere to go next year, somewhere our eyes are going to be on watching a construction project. Now, the question arises, what park is this going to be for? For me, it's so easy. It's plain in sight what park this is going to, and that is obviously Cedar Point. Um, digesting and dissecting this article um, and the things that were said in it, it is very easy to see. The May of 2022 um, is supposed to be the scheduled opening. That right there screams Cedar Fair Park. So we know Cedar Fair likes to open their attractions um, in May. Other parks like Six Flags do not do that. And we also know that Cedar Fair has recently worked with Gert Slauer at Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm. So another pointer towards this going to a Cedar Fair Park. Now, Kings Island is one of those parks that I would immediately assume it's going to because of the land that they recently just cleared and it's difficult land. So if you look at that sentence in the article, it says it's going to be very difficult terrain or difficult location, and that would make you assume Kings Island. Now, they just got Orion, so I don't think that's happening. Can't see them getting a roller coaster two years later, especially after uh, Panorama. Um, but nonetheless... Um, Cedar Point is one of those parks that, you know, they've, it's been three years since Steel Vengeance. Three years, I believe. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that. Three years since Steel Vengeance, and they recently bought some resorts. Last time Cedar Point uh, upgraded their resort, they stole Canada's Wonderland's dive coaster. Uh, so they stole the year. So again, if you don't know, it was supposed to open in 2016, 2017, and Cedar Point needed a roller coaster to boost the sales in those resorts. Coming out of the panorama... With the purchase of these new resorts and sports complex, Cedar Point needs something to draw guests in again. So with the previous knowledge of Cedar Fair doing this for Cedar Point in the past, I 100% can see them doing this and opening a roller coaster in 2022. They are due for one. More interesting is they move the camera um, from facing the beachfront around over towards the Val Raven area. Yes, Cedar Point tends to move cameras, and this could be an extreme reach. I understand that. But nonetheless, I'm just pointing out a few things that we've noticed and everything added up together is definitely pointing towards Cedar Point, in my opinion. Again, if anyone else has any other ideas of parks, chains, or whatever that this could be going to, comment down below. Super interested in what other people are thinking. But um, my heart's racing because I've been waiting the, for the day that Cedar Point was going to announce something. I thought it was going to be a world record um, flying coaster or a GCI wooden coaster, to be honest. So... If this is a Gert Slauer coaster coming to Cedar Point in 2022, um, I definitely assume they're going to be going after the inversion records if it's one of your more basics. It does say this is going to be a unique um, Gert Slauer coaster, I believe, in the article. So we're looking at something new, never before seen, which is also super interesting um, for enthusiasts. Because every time there's some new product out there, all eyes are on it. And this is Cedar Point, most likely, in my opinion, that this is coming to, which makes it even more interesting. I think the beachfront is perfect for any Gert Slauer. Uh, they've been recently retheming the beachfront to kind of like a boardwalk theme. And I think Gert Slauer is just scream boardwalk for me for some reason. I don't know why exactly. But I just definitely see Gert Sowers in some sort of boardwalk setting. So I definitely think there's a possibility, again, reaching here, no evidence whatsoever about this claim, that maybe we could be seeing Wicked Twister's removal heading on over to CGA. And that area where the stage used to be our stadium with Wicked Twister and the beachfront, we could see some sort of like really unique Gert Slaver coaster. That's a significant reach. There's other areas in the park they could build one as well. Um, but nonetheless, super excited to see what happens with this. And I definitely think uh, this is <laughs> this is a hundred percent in my opinion got Cedar Point written all over it. Um, I don't think Carowinds is exactly ready. Um, for a coaster yet. I think Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland are going to be kind of punished for the panorama, and we're going to see our coasters around 2023, 2024. I think Carowinds will be 2023, and Canada's Wonderland will be 2024 for a roller coaster. It could be vice versa, but I think Carowinds is going to come first. They've had that River Rapids ride closed down for a while now. We haven't seen any action over there. 
King's Island is interesting. Again, if it's not Cedar Point, it's definitely King's Island because they recently are building that resort over at King's Island. They did just get Orion, um, but they built, they're building that new resort and uh, they did clear that land where Vortex, I believe it was Vortex, I'm such a noob when it comes to American parks and roller coasters. Again, just scream at me in the comments below, used to it, it's okay. Nonetheless, super excited. I definitely think Kings Island does have um, some sort of chance. I do think it would be weird. Orion didn't break any serious records, even though it's an amazing roller coaster. So it would be weird to see them going down this records uh, route. Um, I do, again, think, I think I've said this 30 times, but I think Cedar Point's got this written all over it. This is coming to Cedar Point. They're due for one with the resort purchases. They've stolen roller coasters in the past. If you can't tell, I'm kind of bitter. Um, but nonetheless, it's super exciting. Again, it doesn't matter what park it goes to. If it even goes to Dorney Park, um, <laughs> I'm going to be excited. It's it's a new prototype coaster. It's going to be world record. Um, and it's Gertzlauer. Honestly, Dollywood's Gertzlauer's are amazing. So I'm definitely dying to get on more. And this is somewhat close to me. So super exciting. Comment down below your guys' thoughts. Definitely curious to see what other people are thinking. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little rant, I guess you would call it. It's not informational. Um, it's just my opinions on what's going on and um, kind of like, I guess, my two cents on Cedar Fair and what I've seen in the past. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little quick rant. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.